Hi friends, my name is Meredith and today I'm going to read the book More Than Words and this book is written and illustrated by Roz McLean. And this book has a subtitle. So your title is these big words on the page, on the cover, that's your title, More Than Words. And your subtitle is something that helps to describe the book a little bit more in detail. And this one is called, So Many Ways to Say What We Mean. So let's find out all the ways we can say what we mean. Nathan doesn't say much. When his classmates call out answers or say, hey, or that's mine, or vanilla, please. He just listens. He has a lot on his mind though. He is thinking about how many puddles there are outside and how much he loves digging in the schoolyard after it rains. You might think talking is the only way to say something. Well, it is one way. Tamara loves to talk. When she's happy, she says, I'm happy. When she's sad, she tells us she's sad. But have you noticed someone like Madeline who shows how she feels when she smiles or cries or laughs? Her face says it all. You can say things in other ways too. Lan likes to write. So does Carlos. He is using braille. And braille is something that people who um, are not able to see, they can use braille and they can feel the dots on the page. And this page actually has braille on it. You can feel the dots on the page and it'll tell you what letters are there. Or you could type like McKenna or spell like Rahim. Or use sign language like Fatima and Mateo. What's up? I'm fine. You could point and press like Tanvir. You can show what you want when you choose, like Jaya. Even when you do use your voice, you can do more than just talk. Kamal likes to sing. Ada, Kalia, and Eli makes sounds. Eh, eh, ah, ah, ch, ch. While Mia repeats, repeats, repeats. May can't always think of the words. But she can move. Express yourself when you play, like Talia. And build, like Sean, Imani, and Jennifer. You might want to show your spark, style, and pizzazz with what you wear like Taylor, or your imagination with painting and drawing like Jordan, Maria, and Nam.
someone might have an idea and dig and dig and dig. and search and gather. They might create something new. If Nathan is quiet, how could you know if he wants to be friends? Do you think you could figure out a way to listen? He actually knows how to say a lot. And if you have this book at home, or if you go onto Story Adventures with Meredith, you can find more information about how we can communicate with one another. And I love this book so much because I, love thinking about different ways that we can express ourselves and talk to each other and communicate with one another and all the different ways we can also listen and look and pay attention to one another and find out what other people might need or want or are trying to say and how we can connect and be friends in all different kinds of ways. I also really love all the pictures in this book and how they show so many different ways of communicating. So that was the book, More Than Words by Roz McLean. Thank you so much for reading with me today. And I can't wait for next time. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Story Adventures with Meredith. Bye for now.